Well, last night, President Trump signed the bill to reopen the federal government, ending the longest shutdown in history. But the bill only gets us through the next three weeks, and some federal workers are already worried they will find themselves in the very same boat again. Jim Smith has that story tonight. Many federal workers are feeling a bit cautious. For weeks, they've been pawns in a political game. Now things are looking up, but there are no long-term guarantees. No, I saw the news come across at first. Seemed a little bit uh, maybe too good to be true. You might think Matt Ford would be celebrating tonight. He's a Devons Corrections officer, a federal worker who will soon finally get paid. But despite the temporary shutdown agreement, he worries. Worries about what might happen if a final deal can't be reached and the shutdown comes back. Yeah, it's concerning. You know, you, you want to plan for things in the future, uh, but instead you have to live in the now because you don't, you don't know if you're going to be receiving a check or not. Electricity. He's gone 35 days without pay. Two bi weekly checks missed, but he kept working anyway and even picked up a second part time job. He's fed up with politicians from both sides. He looks weak if he backs down. Uh, they look weak if they back down. And, uh, they're all still getting paid. They're playing with my money. They're not playing with theirs. Now, this single father of three is hoping for better times, but the scars remain. It's politicians being politicians and at the expense of the people who put them in office. And Matt's oldest son is in college, and Matt was worried that he would have to pull him out because of tuition bills. Now, hopefully, that difficult decision has been avoided. In the Satellite Center, Jim Smith, WBZ News.